Well, welcome to another uh, Memphis Monday. I'm glad you could make it back. Uh, today we're going to uh, build a jewelry case armoire. Uh, well, I didn't know what an armoire was either until I got this assignment. And uh, not only did I, didn't I know what an armoire was, I certainly didn't know how to build it. So what I've done is I've, I'm going to split this adventure up into two parts. Uh, one, we're, uh, today we're going to build a model, uh, try to build a model and uh, come to terms with how this thing is put together and the parts and the joinery and this and that. Uh, and that'll serve as a prototype when we uh, finish the project uh, either next week or the week after whenever uh, whenever we get uh, ready. But we're not going to get ready for anything unless we do what? Let's get to work. Okay, what I'm starting with is this uh, drawing they gave me. Uh, it's not a drawing, I mean, it's a, a picture they took off the internet. Uh, and the lady said, hey, I like this. Well, this is all I have. No plans, no dimensions, no nothing. It's basically one, one door, armoires normally have two, but this one has one. Uh, it's to put jewelry in. Uh, ears, earrings, bracelets, uh, beads and stuff, rings, watches, and then these little pukas down here, and a small drawer inside the cabinet, and then it sits on this little uh, nightstand here, and it sits on these uh, on these pedestals here. Here's a little uh, pencil sketch I made of it. Uh, th this is what it'll look like when it's uh, you know when it's closed up. And here's a right-hand uh, side box with the uh, soft, the ring holder, the cleat with the hooks. There's a small, sh two small shelves in here, uh, four pukas, a big puka, and the drawer. And finally, this is the uh, door side. Uh, this is the inside. Uh, it'll have these, this like ladder-like structure here to hang stuff on. Uh, There'll be this, this dowel situation right here. Put uh, bracelets on and then three cleats with hooks. Over here, this is the outside of the door. Uh, the door will be 50 inches and I'll put a 48 uh, by 13 mirror uh, on the front. This is a uh, this is my first attempt to uh, build the model. Uh, I got some joinery problems, but the main thing I'm working on right now is trying to get the proportions right. But when you look at the picture, right in there, this shelf right here, it doesn't come all the way to the edge, and it's certainly not in a dado. I think it only comes about halfway uh, the thickness of the box. So I'm going to change that width. I just noticed, I don't think, I think the box is uh, too thick. Um, let me show you how I figured that out. Here on the picture, uh, the, if we're going to assume that this uh, box, or we're going to make the box 127 centimeters tall, which is 50 inches, happens to come out even. Well this uh, print here of the photograph is 20 centimeters, which means that every centimeter in this drawing equals 6.35 centimeters in real life. So just kind of, I know that this is foreshortened here, but even you know even just looking at it I can tell that the thing is uh, no more than a centimeter no more than a centimeter deep on this drawing uh, foreshortened it's only about a half a centimeter five millimeters 
So I'm going to call it a centimeter, which means that it's uh, 6.35 centimeters deep, uh, which is about two and a half inches. My model is a two to one scale, so this, uh, I need to cut the box down to about one and a quarter inches. Let's do that now. Well, I got the box to box narrowed down a little bit. What I'm doing now is um, positioning the the little shelves. I'm just going to stick it in, stick them in with pins. Filled in all the dados here uh, because now we have to begin work on these four pukas here. I originally modeled the pukas with a uh, dado that went down the center of that piece of stock right there. But the new pukas, I'm going to put the shelf uh, in a rabbit instead of a dado. So let's make one of them and see if it works. Well, here it is. Um, I just took some of this uh, pine board here put a little rabbit in it, and then this little piece of plywood uh, serves as a shelf, and then the whole shoot match goes right. Goes right in here. And then once the puka shelf is in position, I'll just put a pin right in there to hold it. What this is is the last. This is the last. Uh, this is the big puka at the end. I had to make it. I had to make it uh, special because it's different size. On the picture, that there's a little drawer front right in here, and the piece we just made is this one right here. Now I'm going to wait to put this one in until I get this drawer finished. So let's uh, let's work on that drawer now. Well, maybe maybe I haven't uh, just I haven't figured this drawer out, but it don't seem like much of a drawer. If this thing's only two and a half inches uh, deep, that drawer isn't hardly a drawer. Maybe there's something about it I don't understand. Here's the drawing of the door. Um, it's got it's got the cleats with the hooks and it's got this uh, ladder here and it looks like it's framed with this same width boards as the case over here is uh, made with and then it's got some lighter stuff that goes on the outside you can see it through here so here's what I came up with this is uh, a door that fits over the uh, entire thing. Let me uh, show you. It fits over the project just like this. And you can see that uh, along the edge here I've started putting the hinges in. Let me finish those hinges and see if we can get this thing to close. Before I go to trouble putting all those screws in, I'm just going to put a single screw in each one of these hinges and see if this door closes. Okay. 
Yeah, let's give it a try. Well, let me put the rest of these screws in and we'll get uh, excited. The reason I installed the door first before I installed this ladder and these three cleats is because these have to line up with the appropriate areas on this side of the box uh, because those ladders there that has to it you know it has to go into these open areas and these cleats here have to go into these open slots so I need the door on there to get that alignment so let's uh, let's work on this ladder first I got all the uh, ladders and uh, cleats put in I didn't show any of that because it was all kind of repeat the next thing we're uh, looking at uh, building is this little detail here which is a that is a dowel through there and then it looks like it's got like a toilet paper roll holder or something right there um, so I'm going to build that fancy fit fitting that's what I'm doing now here's the fitting and how it's going to work is our little dowel will go through there like that and then the whole thing will be mounted um, right now I'm going to sand the little fixture here make it look like I put a lot of work into it when obviously I didn't here's our little fitting the reason I'm making a big deal about it is because I'm going to have to make something like this only uh, twice as big on the original on the uh, project when we do this thing for real let's install this thing now what I'll do is uh, put a glob of glue underneath it and then go through to the other side and shoot some brads in from, from the other side Well, that ought to hold it till the glue dries anyway. Now let's see if this whole thing closes. There's our half size uh, model. Um, st let's work on, uh, start working on the stand. Well, I know what you were thinking. You are probably thinking, uh, why would we model the little table the thing's sitting on? We've only built a hundred of those things, and uh, we certainly don't need a model. We could build them in our sleep. This is the thing that we didn't know how to build, and we figured it out. We got the dimensions, uh, all the hardware, and uh, how the thing's put together and everything. So turned out pretty good so it's called a wrap make it a short video and uh, get on with the uh, get on with building the real deal I don't like to uh, make any promises but um, I mean I'm like 99% sure that next week we'll have this thing um, this thing finished so our armoire is complete and I guess that's about it nope one more thing make sure you're back here next week for another exciting memphis monday thanks for playing along